Yo, this is just a video on how to increase your frames and we'll try and make it as quick as possible so let's just get right into it. So the first tip I'd recommend is checking if your CPU is overheating and the way I do that is I use this program called Core Temp. So all Core Temp does is it just tells your CPU's temperature and if it's too high you might need to dust out your computer or just get a new CPU cooler. The next tip I strongly recommend is you try getting a C cleaner and just doing a clean up of your computer and try and get rid of some files that um, you don't use and it can help a lot. The next tip I have for you is to check if there's any programs take out more CPU on Task Manager or you can also use this thing called Process Explorer that's in the description. But this is more for a problem for people who are having trouble with Steam picking up too much CPU. So basically what you need to do for that is you need to go onto Process Explorer, sort by CPU and obviously if Steam is having a problem will be up the top and you can right click on Steam and go to Property then you want to click on Thread and then you want to see what thread is using up just a crap ton of CPU and chances are it's just some random no reason glitch or something like that. And what you can do is you can just click on it and click suspend and that basically fixes it or at least it fixed it for me and some other people so if you guys are having that specific issue hopefully that helps out now this next tip you guys might have heard of it, it's making an auto config and I know it's, an, it's a kind of annoying to make so basically what I've done is I've got some config commands put in a notepad document that you can get in the description below and basically what you need to do is you need to go to your main disk where you have steam program file steam then you need to go to user data then you need to go to your ID and if you don't know your ID you can go to um your inventory on steam then go to trade offers then go to who can send me trade offers and then you'll see this little code and in the middle of that there's a number and that's your ID and so once you find out your ID you click the folder of that number you click seven 30 is the next folder then you click local and then you click cfg or config and then you should be in this config folder just download the config that i put down below put it in that and then make sure in your launch options for csgo you've got plus exec auto exec and yeah you should be good to go this fix is really quick all you need to do is right click on csgo go to properties and then click set launch options and then you paste what i put in the description as the launch options but make sure you change threads to how many cores you have in your PC. So for example, I have four cores on my PC, so I put threads four, space four. So make sure you change that, otherwise, you know, that won't work. And yeah, this also includes the plus exec auto exec command from the last tip. So after adding these launch options, you should be fine. This one is super quick, but it might give you a bit of an FPS boost. All you need to do is right click on CSGO in your library again, go to properties, and you untick this box that says enable Steam Overlay, and then basically what they will do is make it so you can't do the shift tab menu anymore, but it actually gives you quite a few frames. This last step is super simple, but this can actually really fuck you up if you don't do it. It's when you're closing Chrome, you use Control shift q instead of using the top right X, because the top right X, that does close out of Chrome on your view but it doesn't actually shut it down in the background whereas when you do Control shift q it actually completely shuts it down so it's not taking up any resources so you can you know play the game with more frames the last thing i want to mention is that sometimes people have problems with their audio drivers and not csgo and it drops your frames tons so i put a link to a reddit post in the description so if any of you guys think that you might be having that problem i highly suggest you check that out yeah, and that pretty much sums it all up, so that's the end of this video. Everything I mentioned is down in the description below. Hopefully this video does end up helping a few people, but yeah, other than that, just catch you guys later.